Hello everyone and welcome to Mornings with Bet, your new favorite podcast with a burst of energy and motivation hosted by yours truly, Fernanda Davila. I hope your day is going absolutely amazing so far. I'm feeling all kinds of ways. I am excited, I am hopeful, I am motivated. Let me tell you all about it. This is the first uh, podcast that I ever actually go through with posting. So I woke up extra early today to get all this done before the kids wake up. And uh, this is a a new beginning for me. This is the start to a new chapter in my journey. Most of you may know me from TikTok. And if you do, welcome. Thank you so much for being here. And if you are not, and it is your first time meeting me, it is a pleasure. Thank you so much for clicking on this episode and giving me an opportunity to have Mornings with Fed. It is a live morning show at 6 a.m. PST. And that has led me to having my own podcast on YouTube. And it makes me so much more comfortable to think that I am talking to my already existing audience. After a lot of thinking, I've come to realize that I wanted my first episode ever on my podcast to be about trying new things, stepping out of your comfort zone encouraging you to try that new sport, that new language, that new job, the streaming live, whatever it is that you want to do, it is never too late. You should be your own hype person or you can just tune in here and I will hype you up. What I'm trying to get to is pretty much believe in yourself a little bit more. I would have never in a million years have gotten this far in only six months if I did not decide to change my life for me, for my family. I wanted this more than anything. And I always had like the dream to be that influencer or that, oh my God, whatever it is, that it person, right? And I realized that I was not taking the steps towards having that life. When you kind of say fake it till you make it, it's really that when I started streaming, for example, I would show up every single day, regardless of nobody knowing who the heck I was or what I was trying to do. I continued showing up with my head held high. I had good days, I had bad days, I had great days, I had terrible days, I could tell you. But it is just so wild when you're so driven, especially if you have kids, you kind of know, you're picking up what I'm putting down. It is insane the potential that you have when you start believing in yourself and pushing yourself a little bit further out of your comfort zone. It has been so crazy to find my passion, literally, to motivate people, to encourage, to hype them up and give them some energy every single morning has meant the world to me. I have met such amazing people. When I tell you, those steps take you a long freaking way. And it has led me to being so much more comfortable in front of a camera, speaking in a much more engaging way. Now that I'm trying my podcast, I'm trying to speak a lot more paused because your girl can talk very fast I feel like I am a professional yapper it's gotten me in trouble throughout my entire life and now it is the way that I am monetizing and giving the best life that I can for two of my little kids so I think that is a win and I am just trying to get better every single day as the journey continues when you start something new it may not always please everyone around you especially when you are finally thinking of yourself they may see it as selfish and you shouldn't feel bad about it because every Everybody prioritizes themselves, or at least they should if they really want to live a happy, joyful life. I personally have been doing that for quite some time and I see the difference. I feel the difference and I see that a lot of people stepped away from my life, but I guess they were never meant to be there anyways. I mean, some people are in your life for a season, others are there for a much longer time, but you know what? If you are doing something that makes you happy and they understand, they will support you and they will encourage you and hype you up. So make sure that you surround yourself with some happy, positive, encouraging people and it will make your life so much better. I am a little bit nervous and a lot of it maybe and my voice is a little bit shaky but if I did not go through with the first one my journey would never start and I just had to push through being terrified to just sit here on my own talking to a camera but I'm telling you regardless of what it is that you want to do you have what it takes if you find your passion that will keep you motivated to keep going every single day and you will be closer than you were yesterday overcoming your fears gets you 
a long way. Little steps that get you there. I pinky promise you that. If you knew how uncomfortable I was in front of a camera and now I can record anywhere and I stream live from very public places. I was in New York City two weeks ago streaming from Times Square bunch of people everywhere. That was super out of my comfort zone, but after I did it, I felt so proud of myself and I keep pushing every single day to do something that makes me super terrified. And that makes you a little bit uncomfortable. If you've ever been to my morning show, you would know that one of the main things that I always lead back to is being uncomfortable but happy or being comfortable and miserable. I choose personally to be uncomfortable for a little bit, but I live a hell of a happy life. Um, I'm not trying to be confrontational with people, but I am done people pleasing and saying yes when I don't feel like the correct answer that will make me happy is yes. I've hung out with a lot of people that do that. They'll say yes to everything and anything and then they're the only ones that end up uncomfortable or unhappy or miserable in the situation. So let this be your sign that if you don't want to go there, say no. If you don't want to do that, let them know that you don't want to. It is really all about communication. So if that person really does care for you, they will understand that you're making that decision because it is the best decision for you. I have a friend that told me, in five years, you're gonna be more disappointed about the things that you didn't do rather than the things that you did do that led you to the person that you become in the next five years. When I tell you my life has changed so much in the last five, six months, it is unreal. And that all happened because one day I woke up and I was like, today is the day I get myself together and I'm gonna make it. And I do not have a choice, I want this and I decide what my future looks like. I am the person that chooses how her day goes on daily. When you wake up, do you ever ask yourself, how do you want to feel? I've been doing that for a couple months now and it is so crazy how it changes the entire vibe and sets the mood to your day. How do you wanna feel? Do you wanna be happy? Do you wanna be thankful? Do you wanna be motivated? Do you want to be proud? What do you want to feel like? And I think it really sets the mood for the day. And you pretty much ask yourself before you leave the house, you pretty much remind yourself that regardless of what issues come across the day, whether it's at work, with a coworker, with your boss, with your husband, your wife, your kids, the teacher, whatever it is, you have a mindset that you're not gonna let it get to you or you already expect something coming your way, highly, highly recommend you ask yourself how you wanna feel. You set out all the vibes of how you're gonna react to the things that get thrown your way and it will make your day so much better. I feel like I used to put things off a lot because I was like, I'm waiting for the perfect time, the perfect place, the perfect everything. And I've finally come to realize, I'm 28 now, and I've finally come to realize that it's never the perfect time. It is never the perfect anything. You have to make those things happen. It's kind of like, I always come back to this example, when is the right time to have kids? Are you too young? Are you too old? Things like that. I don't think so. I think that is a different for everybody. Like kind of when you settle down into a relationship or a marriage or getting a pet or moving cross country, literally anything, learning a new language, changing your career. When is the right time? To be honest with you, when you wake up one day and you say today is the day. Ever since I decided to start something new, which was social media for me. Before I used to post, but it was just like personal content, like family things and whatnot. Then I completely left social media for a little over a year and a half. And now that I am back and I am slowly making an audience and feeling more comfortable in front of the camera, being able to be myself and not be shy or explain myself to people and literally be myself, finding people that like me for who I am. And yeah, of course, there's gonna be people that don't like you and that is okay. And I'm here to tell you that if you really want it bad enough, on the balance, you are not gonna let that weigh more than your goals, your dreams, whatever makes you happy. It has changed so much in my life in such a short period of time. And now having the opportunity to do a podcast and hang out with you guys that you're giving me your time and your attention. 
and I can motivate you guys to do something new, something different, something that is not the norm or the ordinary or what people expect you to do. It's just wild how many people want you to do good, but they just never want you to do better than them. And that I've come across a lot now that slowly I'm becoming a little bit more successful every single day because I'm putting in the work. A lot of people are like, oh my God, Fed, you've gotten so lucky. Guys, um, it has been a lot of hard work to get to where I am and I am not gonna stop. So I highly recommend to you that regardless of what people tell you, keep showing up, keep doing your thing, and you are gonna get there every single day you're a little bit closer than you were. I know some days are really freaking hard and you're just like, I cannot do this anymore. But you know what, um, yes you can. And it's just a little challenge today. Tomorrow you're gonna wake up with this whole new attitude, this whole new mindset. Okay, we all have bad days, but if today is one of those days for you, I really am sending you all the best vibes, the best energy, and I just wanna remind you that you can do it and do not let anything get in your way of those crazy goals, those crazy dreams, dude. The people that always think outside the box and they have some wild imaginations and they have those crazy, crazy goals and dreams that they slowly start working to become a reality, those people change the world. So whether it's me motivating you today or encouraging you tomorrow, whatever it is, make sure that you hang out with people that hype you up and cheer you on. Cut out those people that are always like, you're not enough, you can't do this. They may mistreat you physically, psychologically, emotionally, whatever it is. Just make sure you know the kind of people that you're hanging out with and that is very, very big on me. I may not have a lot of friends, but I do have the right ones. They are the best. And now through social media, I get to connect with a lot of people and I am making a difference slowly. I know today's podcast has been a little bit all over the place, but I promise I will be getting better at this i am really proud that i finally went through with doing it so thank you very very much if you like this podcast please give me a thumbs up and comment below what are your goals what is something new that you are um very excited to try and hopefully after this podcast you have all the energy and motivation and courage to do it i know it's terrifying but you know what i think you got this and you should just go for it what's the worst that can happen if you want to be part of this crazy crazy journey make sure that you subscribe to my channel this this is the first podcast, but stay tuned because I will be doing many, many more podcasts. I am really excited to start on this crazy journey with you guys, and it means the world to me if you watched up until this point. All the best. I love you guys. Thank you for everything you do. I love you.